Hi guys, it's Vicky. Welcome to another tutorial. I know it's been a while, so we're gonna come back with something really cute and really easy. Today we're gonna be making a cute little owl panel, and this panel design is actually based off of a cuff design that I found on Candy Patterns from 2011. The user's name was Sparky96, um, and I sort of made my own little version of their pattern that's more like compact and thicker <laughs> that we're gonna be making today. Uh, for this project, let me get my notes, you'll need 105 beads and I'll be using 68 of this light blue color for the like main body of the owl and then I'll be using 20 light pink and that will be for like the accent feathers then i will have 12 white for the whites of the owl's eyes two aqua is that what you call this color aqua for the eyeballs and then um three orange one is going to be for the beak and then two for the little feet that's a total of 105 beads and then I'm not sure exactly how much string we're going to use for this. Maybe five feet? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, for this string, I'm going to be using Stretch Magic. This one is 0.7 millimeters thick. This is what I like to use for my panels. It has less give to it, so it kind of gives it a more, like, sturdy structure. And of course, don't forget your scissors. Do -do 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 gonna move those beads out of my way there we go so to get started I'm gonna get roughly five feet of this stretch magic so this is a peyote stitch panel here um, we're gonna start at the bottom of the owl and work our way up um, there's gonna be links to my pattern and the pattern that it's based off of down in the description So I will start by folding my string in half And I'm gonna add one light blue bead onto each end of the string And then put the two ends together and place both those ends through one light blue bead and then next, I will go with one light blue on one end and one light pink on the other end. Then put the two ends together and place on one light pink. Then one light blue and one light pink. Put the two ends together, put on one light pink. And once again, one light blue, one light pink, put the two ends together, and put on one light pink. And we're going to do that again, light blue, light pink, and light pink. Then one light blue and one light pink. Now this time, put the two ends together, put on a light blue, and then one light blue on each end, and this should finish off this row. So I'm going to pull all of my beads towards the center of the folded in half string. And then tug on the beads to pull them tighter. And now I'm going to compare this to the pattern and make sure that I actually did it right before I move on. <laughs> okay, so now that I'm sure everything is correct, I'm going to tighten it some more and then tie it off.
Alrighty. So there's the base of the peyote panel. So now we're going to continue on with basically making like the bottom and the feet of the owl. I'm going to take one of my strings and place it through the light blue bead on the edge that's facing towards me. And now I'm going to add a light blue bead and place my string through the next pink bead. Then I'll add another blue and place my string through the next pink. Now if you don't have a pink there, you can just flip, just flip it over to make sure you're getting it through the correct bead. So now I'll add another blue, put my string through the next pink. Add another blue and put the string through the next pink. As you can see here, this, this column needs to be flipped, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now put the string through. I'm going to add another blue. Place my string through the next pink, so I'll have to flip that over. Then adding another blue, putting my string through the next blue bead on the edge. Alright, we're going to continue on with this same string. Um, I'm going to turn around and put my string through this blue bead right here. Now on this row, we're going to be adding five blue beads. So just put on one blue and put the string through the next blue and do that all the way across. Now I will turn around and place my string back through the blue bead that I just added. Now I'll add another blue bead, place the string through the next bead that's popped up. Here we'll be adding a pink bead. Place the string through the next bead that's popped up. Then another pink. And another blue. Now we'll turn around and place the string back through the bead that was just added. Here I'll be adding on an orange bead and this is going to represent the owl's foot. And in this gap here, we're not going to add a bead at all. It's going to be blank. So I'm instead just going to put the string through this middle blue bead. And then through the next pink bead. And then add another orange bead on. So now it's got two little feet. <laughs> so that's the bottom done. Um, now we get to rotate it and work on the other side. So then we'll be making the middle and then the head. I'm going to take the string I wasn't using yet and place it through the edge bead that's facing towards me. 
And this row, I'm just going to fill it with blue beads all the way across. All right, now it's time to retrieve the string that's on the bottom of the owl. Ah, yes, I want the string to end up coming out right here. Um, and currently, here's where it is. So I'm going to place the string through the two beads right next to where it's coming out of. And then uh, place it through the edge bead that's closest to me. So like the top of the owl edge bead. <laughs> and that should be right where I want it now. So now I have the two strings like this. And the other one's longer, so I'm actually just gonna grab the longer one and work with that. So here, on the very edge, I'm going to add on a blue bead and then place the string through the next bead that's popped up. Then I'll need to add five pink beads. Then on the very edge, I'll be adding a light blue bead, and then I'll switch to the other string and place it through that same bead, just going in the opposite way. And that will hold it on. Next will be a blue bead. Then four pink beads. Then another blue bead. Then I'll switch to the other string. Add one blue bead. Then five more blue beads.
one more blue bead on the very edge. And I will switch to the other string and place it through that same blue bead going towards the opposite way. And that should hold that bead onto the edge. Now this row will just be six blue beads. Then I'll switch to the other string and I will take that string and place it through the next blue bead that's popped up, um, but I will not be adding any beads here. Just place it through that bead, then I'll add a blue bead here. Then a white bead. And then my last orange. Another white. And another blue. Then I'm gonna switch to the other string. And without adding a bead, place it through the <laughs> blue bead that's right next to it. And through the next bead as well. Now this row will be four white. <laughs> and now I'm going to switch strings again, but to get this string in the position I want, I'm going to have to do a little finagling <laughs> because it's here but I kind of want it to be here instead so um, I'm gonna take my string here and place it through the bead that's directly under it Then through the bead next to that one. And then the bead directly above it towards the outside. So now it's where I wanted it. Basically I went in a little square. <laughs> and now here I can add a blue bead. And then an aqua bead. Then a blue. An aqua. And another blue. And for this blue bead, on the edge, I'm going to switch to the other string and place it through that bead going the opposite way. And it looks like I'm actually going to have to add a bit of string, I think, to finish this. 
Um, I'm gonna add two feet just to be safe. Probably won't need it all. Oh, by the way, if you end up having to add string, I have a tutorial for that. That will be linked in the description below. There we go. So now the string's a little longer and I am more comfortable with that. This row will just be four white. Let's go to the next row. I'll switch to the other string. Add a blue. Then a white. Then a blue. Then a white. And lastly, another blue for the very edge. And I'll put the other string through that same blue bead going the opposite way. All right. Now all that's left is the top of the head. This row will just be four blue beads. The next row will be five blue beads. Then I'll switch to the other string and place it through the last bead that was added, going the opposite way to hold it on. Then here I will add a blue bead. And in the next two gaps, nothing goes there. So instead, I'm just going to put my string through the next four beads without adding any beads on. Then I'll add another blue bead right here. Almost done, almost done. <laughs> so with the same string, I'm gonna add one more blue bead. And that makes the top corner of the little like, I guess it's a horned owl little horns and I'm just gonna put my string through the next three beads without adding any more on and so that the knot is gonna be hidden at the end I'm gonna leave this string here in the middle and then switch to the other one to add the very last bead on And then I'll put the string through the next two beads so that it comes out right next to the other one. So that way, 
it can be tied off and the knot's gonna be like in the middle where it's not quite as visible. I'll probably give this like a triple knot and uh, tug on the ends to make sure it's nice and tight. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> so now I'm just going to cut the tails off. I didn't end up using all the string. So I'd say this project is more like six feet of string. And there's the cute tiny little owl. <laughs> I like to put these on necklaces. Um, but you could probably also put it on like a keychain or a bracelet or something if you want to. Anyways, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's really nice being back to making tutorials, which is kind of like my original YouTube thing. So don't forget to check out the helpful links and my contact info down in the description. And until next time, peace, love, unity, and respect.